This massive winter weather storm affecting millions of people has several flights already canceled again today here in Nashville. Parts of the East Coast are in the middle of the worst flooding in 40 years. The National Guard made several high water rescues overnight in the frigid ice and snow. At least 19 deaths across the country are being blamed on the bitter cold. Kenneth Craig is in the middle of the disaster zone now. Massachusetts is frozen over as New England finds itself in the grips of what could be a record setting deep freeze. It's super cold. It's, this, it's like sharp. The Arctic blast could make temperatures feel as low as minus 35 degrees in some parts of the Northeast. Freeze warnings extend down to Florida where airplanes are being de-iced. Very cold. I can't feel my nose. <laughs> The deep freeze comes a day after a massive winter storm paralyzed the region. Here in Boston, there's still plenty of cleanup to be done. More than 13 inches of snow fell, and now officials are concerned what's not cleaned up could turn to ice. The storm hit during high tide, intensified by a supermoon. Icy water from the city's harbor submerged streets downtown and flooded a subway station. If anyone wants to question global warming, just, just see where the flood zones are. Those zones didn't flood 30 years ago. Crews used rafts, high water trucks, and even a front loader to rescue people stranded in their homes. Record flooding stretched up the coast to Maine. Where I grew up and the things my childhood memories are being washed away. The weather is to blame for at least 19 deaths. More than 100,000 homes and businesses lost power. In New Jersey, firefighters braved the bitter cold to battle a five building blaze and rescued several people. The water from hoses frozen and likely won't melt for days. Kenneth Craig, CBS News, Boston. And here's something bizarre. Look up. It's raining giant lizards, huh? The deep freeze is causing iguanas to fall from the treetops. The National Weather Service reports temperatures are chilly enough to stun the normally warm-blooded green iguanas in South Florida and make them lose their grip on the branches. But don't worry, experts say they'll thaw out and be just fine. The president is pushing back against a book released today, one that is highly critical of his family and administration. The commander in chief claims fire and fury inside the Trump White House is full of lies. He also says he never spoke with the book's author. That man says they absolutely did talk about the book in a discussion that lasted for three hours. The book makes clear the president's daughter Ivanka and former chief strategist Steve Bannon had the most serious problems behind the scenes. He wanted her and her husband fired in the early days after the election. A scary fall leaves game show icon and Jeopardy host seriously hurt. Alex Trebek was admitted to a California hospital back in mid-December after suffering complications from hitting his head in a serious tumble at his home two months earlier. He underwent surgery to remove a hematoma. Alex Trebek released a statement saying he is doing better and expects to make a full recovery. What is? Nashville sure hopes so.